The quest for clean water began long before the tap. If you lived as far back as 4000 BC and wanted to make your H2O less H2U, you could filter it through charcoal, sand or gravel, boil, strain or, like a vampire, expose it to sunlight. In 1500 BC, the Egyptians discovered the chemical alum cleared the clouds in their cups by binding to dirt particles causing it to settle. Once upon a time, it was healthier to drink beer than water. In 1854, a diseased nappy caused a catastrophic cholera outbreak in London, killing over 600 people. However, none of the local brewery workers got sick because they were given as much beer as they wanted, and the fermentation process killed the cholera bacteria. Free beer and staying alive, those are some sweet perks. Tap water in southeast Queensland has also come a long way. It was only 1917 when it was decided to remove mud from our water using a sedimentation basin. Until then, raw water from the Brisbane River was pumped straight to the tap. Mmm, fragrant. Chlorine was added in 1925 to eliminate any micro-nasties, and modern water treatment was introduced in 1947 with the construction of rapid sand filters. Today, we're fortunate to live in a part of the world where clean water is available with a turn of a tap. Queensland Urban Utilities has a modern network of over 9,000 kilometres of water mains, 125 reservoirs, 40 water pump stations and 110 water boosters and conducts more than 190,000 water quality tests a year. Like the water cycle itself, the quest for the best possible water is never-ending. Innovations in science and technology will continually create more efficient, economical and safer water treatment practices. Queensland Urban Utilities is committed to delivering world-class water straight to your tap. <laughs>